The mustache is back. You look like an 80s porn star. Who said that? Hey, what's going on? Shane at Shane Hubbard Fit and the Simple 60 Challenge. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use a calorie deficit to lose weight. Now, to help you do this, I'm gonna be using my free three-step fat loss calculator. If you haven't already downloaded it, go to the link in my description and download it for free. All right, so the very first thing that you wanna do is you want to think about what your ideal or goal weight is at the end of your fat loss journey. So as an example, let's say that I weigh 246 pounds and I know that I would feel pretty good at around 200 to 210 pounds. Like if I dropped enough body fat, that would be about where my weight would sit. Now, if you're not 100% sure about what your goal weight is, don't stress out over it, just use an estimated number. So once I know my goal weight number, I'm gonna use an activity multiplier to help tell me how many calories I should eat to lose weight. Now there's three different activity multipliers. There's a sedentary number, there's a light activity number, and there's a heavy activity number. So the sedentary number is 10. So you would multiply your goal weight by 10 to get a total calorie deficit number. If you're sort of lightly active and you do some activity but not a lot, you would multiply by 11. If you do a lot of activity, you strength train, you do cardio, you would multiply by 12. So once you figure out your goal weight number and what activity multiplier sounds most like you, go ahead and multiply those two numbers together and tell me what you get. In my example, my goal weight is 205 pounds and my activity multiplier is going to be 11. So I'm going to end up with 2,255 calories. Now remember, this is just a starting point. This is what's called my estimated calorie deficit number, which is the estimated amount of calories that I need to consume to lose weight. What I recommend doing once you know your calorie deficit number is following that number for four straight weeks. Stay as close to that number as you can and see what your body measurements do and what your weight does. If you're noticing a slow trend downward with your weight, you're in a calorie deficit. If you notice that your weight pretty much stays the same for four straight weeks, there's a good chance that you're not in a calorie deficit and you're in a calorie maintenance. There's one exception to that though. If you're lifting weights and eating in a calorie deficit and you're relatively new to lifting weights, you could be losing fat and building muscle at the same time. If you wanna find out more about why you might be losing inches but not weight, check out this video up here. So now that you have your estimated calorie deficit number, you can use this to start tracking your weight, tracking your calories, and start losing body fat. If you wanna take it a step further, I'm also gonna go over the macronutrient split that can work best for you as a starting point. So following the three-step fat loss calculator, I recommend these three numbers for your proteins, your carbs, and your fats. Now remember, this is just a starting point. You can make adjustments to these as you wish. You might be someone who wants to eat more fat or someone who wants to eat more carbohydrates. That's totally cool. The only thing that I recommend is keeping protein between 25 and 30%. By using these starter macros, you can figure out how many grams of proteins, carbs, and fats you need to eat to optimize your fat loss results. If you're not sure how to do the math to figure out what percentage of total calories equates into grams of each type of food, make sure you follow the three-step fat loss calculator for all of the formulas to do this. All right, once you do the math, you should have a number for protein, a number for carbohydrates, and a number for fat. Now, one thing to keep in mind is you don't have to be absolutely perfect with these proteins, carbs, and fats numbers. These numbers can change from time to time to suit where you currently are, but I would highly recommend that you follow these as closely as you can without becoming obsessed to maximize your results. All right, so now you know exactly how to use a calorie deficit to lose weight. Now, one more thing that I recommend that you do is track your weight and your body measurements for four weeks. By tracking your weight and your body measurements, you're going to be able to accurately determine whether or not you are truly in a calorie deficit. If it just so happens that you aren't losing inches and not losing weight, then there's a good chance that your calorie deficit number that we estimated is too high. So what you would do from there is simply subtract 150 to 200 calories more, do the exact same steps, and then track that for four weeks and see if you start losing weight or inches or both. All right, so that is my video today. Thanks a ton for watching. I hope this cleared up the confusion about how to use a calorie deficit to lose weight. If this video helped you figure out exactly how to find your calorie deficit number, let me know in the comment section down below. And before you go, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want more videos just like this for learning how to lose body fat and empower yourself. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you in a future video.